Hi, my name is Dave, and today we're going to look at a Tal M telescope of Russian manufacturer. A charming telescope. It's about maybe 10, 15 years old. So it's not a real old telescope, and it's got some interesting and quirky features. I love Russian telescopes in general because of their beefy, robust construction. This one is over the top in terms of unusual and quirky uh, attributes. Uh, to start with, let's look at the finder. That's the finder right there. You look through the telescope eyepiece and you can pop the finder out. And this is putting the finder in. Actually, what's sliding in here is a diagonal. And now it's looking through the finder. Here's how you focus the eyepiece. This actually focuses both the finder and the uh, main telescope. This is pretty much, they're pretty much pretty close to being par focal, so you don't have to mess with it. Once you get this set for infinity, then uh, you're pretty close to where it ought to be. So let me show you a little bit about the operation of this extremely unusual mount. Despite the fact that it looks just as weird as it could possibly be, it's actually a fairly straightforward German equatorial mount here. This is a lock, and that's a slow motion. So you have a lock here, and you have slow motion. I'll show you the internal little mechanism. It's pretty interesting, spring-loaded kind of a deal. So you've got a lock there, and then you've got a lock here. And if you lock it down, let's unlock it and show you. There's movement in, right, ascension. And then slow motion, right ascension. <clears throat> so it's a rather ordinary kind of a scope. This is this is bizarre. Inside this structure here is a big heavy weight, and you loosen this, and you can, you can probably hear it clunking. There's a big weight moving back and forth in there. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite give you enough travel to do the job doesn't quite balance perfectly. See, it wants to drop like that. But it does offset the, offset the weight of the telescope, mostly, more or less. So it's probably effective enough for use. Give you some looks at some different angles here. Another pretty interesting thing about this is the way... Let's lock these things down. These, uh... These clamps here are kind of tricky, kind of unusual. They kind of drop off like so, hold on to the scope, and then this thing just comes out like that. And it's really, um, there are four pieces of plastic, hardened plastic there, and the scope actually rides on those. This is designed to make it kind of easy to load this thing up and unload it. This kind of snaps in. So it's almost spring-loaded like that. It's kind of clever. Not sure if I would like it on a big scope. It doesn't seem quite secure enough for a big scope. But for this scope, it's probably sufficient. So uh, let me take it apart and show you some of the innards of this thing. Okay, I've taken this apart now so that we can have a look at the inside. Uh, this is the locking mechanism for the counterweight right here. And this would be the right ascension. This goes right to the... Um, polar axis right here, and this is the right ascension and de declination slow. This is the locking mechanism for the right ascension. You lock it down like so, clamps onto that, and you have a little bit of a tangent spring deal here like that. It's virtually identical in terms of declination. There's your locking mechanism. Simple but effective. Typical Russian construction. This is cast aluminum. Interesting, huh? I'm tempted to add a little more weight here, but that would restrict the travel. <laughs> it's probably, it's fine. It's good enough the way it is. Okay, let me show you how assembly works. In the scope. These are captured bolts here. They just right in there.
I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Tal M telescope. Thank you for watching.